I wanted to also make another little video to show you how there's some different options for the Wix Pro Gallery in mobile that I think might work better or just, I don't know, think, I think they look better than um, maybe the one that you have selected. You were talking about filling the page more or making them larger. Um, that's all set up here under settings and it depends on which one you pick. Um, you can pick the slideshow. But the slideshows, I don't find work as good on mobile. I think you might want to expand them. Um, but to show you a couple of the options in the slideshow, let's come in here. You can have it set up so that there's a play button if you'd like. Um, you can also determine if you want the images to be cropped or if they fit in, in the gallery. Using crop is a little bit better because it'll usually fill it to the whole size of the screen. But this only really works good if most of your images are similar in size. It depends on the images, of course, but if you have different proportions of images, it's going to crop them differently. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, in this case, I think this still works. Um, you can also set up the settings here where you could say have the option for them to open in full screen, which it does. Um, you can also add the ability for social sharing or for them to like it. Um, I will leave that one on because I think that's a good one. But the likes, I don't know if you necessarily, it just has little hearts on the pages, which you're welcome to turn on if you'd like. Um, those are under settings. Here's under um, design, you have your overlays and so forth. You can determine if you want your arrows to show up or not. Um, I think if you're using a slideshow, you may want to do that. You can also just determine their size and their color. I have noticed that Wix Pro Gallery has been having a problem displaying lately because see here we're not seeing the arrows and the things off to the sides like why does it look like that? Um, it seems to be just kind of a bug when you're making edits to the mobile view. Sometimes it gets kind of wonky so I'll close I'll go into the desktop and then go back to mobile and then you'll see it kind of fixes itself. So if you're making a lot of changes to the settings and it starts to look wonky try toggling back and forth from the desktop to the mobile and that should hopefully cure it and make it look like it's supposed to look which in this case has an arrow but I wanted to also show you there are some other options that I think might look better with your images um, showing them for example I think on a mobile as they're scrolling it's kinda nice they can just scroll through all the pictures so maybe you decide not to have every single picture in this gallery eventually and maybe you link the gallery to a gallery page for more pictures um, that way there's not so many here um, but you can actually adjust the settings of this as well um, now you'll notice see how it looks wonky again where are they all on the left hand side well it's because I've noticed it's been buggy um, I'm in Chrome uh, always use Chrome if you can but sometimes Wix can be a little buggy with things in the displays and I find that resetting the page will fix that a lot of times so just using this little toggle oftentimes will fix that so now they're showing up the way they should which is full width so um, I thought this kind of looked nice um, and really kind of lets people scroll through a lot of your images but you may want to simplify and not have quite so many because it is a lot to load on a phone um, so that's a thought. Um, maybe you just have three or four images in this gallery um, and then again link them to a photo gallery page eventually. But I'm going to leave this here for now. If you guys want me to change this back to just the slideshow version, I'm happy to. Um, or you're welcome to go in here as well and do that. You come up here to settings, you come to layout, and then you choose the one you want. So feel free to look at all of these too. There's a lot of different ones um, that you can utilize um, and then you can always go back if you need to by using your undo and kind of go back to the previous version of it but I'm going to leave it like this because I think as a viewer I would love to see all these pictures to see you guys um, uh, with all this okay um, I think that covers that I just wanted to go over that because you were asking how to get those to be widescreen and that's how you do it um, uh, just know that the mobile has all of its own settings and so you can a lot of times adjust things to look a little differently on mobile than they would on desktop but that's because mobile's a whole different beast so sometimes a different layout is the best option for displaying images.